Welcome back traders. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a strategy that helped me make my first free figure day back in 2019. Now, this is a last minute recording because I had another video planned and fully edited. But before releasing, I had a subscriber that actually commented to me saying that yesterday's video was repainting. So after verifying this on five different currency pairs, I did realize that yes, yesterday's video was actually repainting and I used that indicator within today's strategy. So although this is last minute for me, there's no way that I'm going to publicize something that I know is truly invalid. That's just not what we're going to be pushing on this channel. And I recommend all of you guys to critique anything wrong you see with what I do. My back testing, errors that I make. I want to build a trusted community because deceiving people for some views is not what we're about on this channel. Okay, so let's go and break down this strategy. So for this, we're only going to be using one indicator as well as price action. I'm only going to keep this volume indicator down below just so you guys can see exactly why I'm going to enter when I decide to enter. So let's delete these and then re-add them. And for the first indicator, we're going to need the FDL moving averages by this user here. Now, once loaded, we need to make some adjustments in the settings plot line from blue to green and i'm going to change the bottom plot line from black to white as well as make them all more visible okay so this indicator is made up of free moving averages and we're going to be using it to find the trend direction when we're above the 200 moving average which is the white line we're getting a bullish structural market and when we're below the white line we're in a sell structural market we also need the confirmation moving averages to be confirming the trend direction for example to confirm we're in a buy we need to be above the 200 moving average and the green needs to be on top of the red now of course when looking for cells we need to be below the 200 moving average and the red needs to be on top of the green so now i'm going to go and get the second indicator but bear in mind we're not actually using this in this system it's simply just to demonstrate the amount of volume in the times i decide to trade Okay, so as we can see, this indicator just identifies strong points of volume in the market. For example, New York Open will have a spike, as well as the London Open and Asian Open. Okay, so this is your entry criteria when looking for long positions. First, we need to make sure we're above the 200 moving average. Now, in addition to this, the green moving average needs to be on top of the red to confirm the structural market. Now, once we've identified the trend direction, we need to make sure we're in a valid trading hour. Now, for this strategy, we're only going to be taking trades from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. GMT, which is London Open, as well as taking trades from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. GMT, which is New York Open. Now, we take trades at this time, so we have the most volume in the market, as you can see here the volume is now spiking because we had london open so now we've identified the trend direction as well as making sure we're in a valid trading hour we're going to enter with momentum on the breaker structure high we're going to enter using momentum on a breaker structure so as we can see here price has been trending up and now it's pulled back and we're looking to enter on the push phase predicting the continuation so this is our high breaker structure and we're going to look to enter once the high gets taken out your stop loss will be below the most recent swing low and we will target a one to two risk to rewards Okay, so in this scenario, we didn't hit the TP. So let's go and take a look at another long example. So we're above the 200 moving average, signifying we're in a bullish structural market. And we also have the confirmation of the structure, which is identified by the green moving average being above the red. So now we have the trend direction confirmed. We're going to make sure we're in our trading hour. As you can see here, we're right at the three o'clock candle, which means it's New York open. So now we've identified the trend direction as well as making sure we have enough volume in the market. We're going to take the instant execution once the high gets taken out because we're trying to predict that the continuation of the bullish structure is going to continue so we're going to take our buy entry once the breaker structure happens using momentum and our target will be a one to two risk to reward okay so this system actually works really well even up to this date so let's go and take a look at the sell criteria okay so this is your entry criteria we're looking for sell positions that were below the 200 moving average signifying to us we're in a sell structural market now once this happens we need to confirm the direction with the red moving average being above the green so now we've confirmed it's a trend direction we need to make sure we're trading between a valid trading window so we can come down to the bottom and we can see that we're in the eight o'clock london open 
an hour and the nine o'clock still has some candles before it hits. So now we need to wait for this low to get taken out and once this happens it's going to be a valid breakage structure and we can enter using momentum so our stop loss will be above the most recent swing high and we will target the one to two risk to rewards. Okay, so we hit the TP. Let's go and take a look at another short example. Okay, so as we can see here, we're below the 200 moving average and the red is on top of the green. So now we've confirmed the trend direction. We need to make sure we're trading between a valid trading window. So we come down here to check and we can see the eight o'clock candle is just about to open. So we're going to wait for this low to get taken out. And we're going to enter once this low gets taken out because we're predicting that the bearish trend is going to continue. So we'll go ahead and take the instant execution, stop loss above the most recent swing high and we will target the one to two risk to rewards beautiful so it still works to this day now i'm going to go and back test this 100 times and come back to you with the results Okay, so in four months, I took 100 trades, 53 won and 47 lost, which means we had a win rate of 53%, a max drawdown of 4% and a max gain of 10%. So the max gain versus max drawdown is extremely positive as well as the win rate when going for a one to two is beautiful. I'm very surprised it's still producing really good results like this almost four years later. So the net profit was 59% in them four months. So considering we're only trading two hours a day is phenomenal. A lot of these other systems were trading for 24 hours and a lot of the drawdown occurs when the pair isn't in session. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to go and test this down below. And like always, thank you for watching.